Hello everyone! Thank you so much for joining me for part two of my 10 cards one kit. Now this is the bug jar kit from Queen and Company and it coordinate, coordinates with the love jar kit so they go together perfectly but this um, kit has some cute little bug elements so we're going to create card number six here and if you missed part one I'll leave a link below for you to where you can check it out. But here we go I'm going to take a piece of the pattern paper this is from the Flirty Florals pattern paper that came in the Love Jar Kit. Um, I used a grassy border die for my stash and cut out some grass. And I wanted a grassy scene on the inside of my jar. So I'm taking the Love Jar die and I'm going to cut that out. Now I'm also going to take the little tag die. Oh no, no, I didn't take the tag die. Well, eventually I will, but this is actually from the Bug Jar Kit and it cuts out another topper for your jar. So the Love Jar kit has a jar lid and then this is like a fabric kind of a cover for your jar. And so I cut that out with the yellow polka dot pattern paper along with a few other elements here. I'm gonna take a rest of that gra grassy border and adhere that to a panel. This panel is three and a half inches by four and three quarters. And then I also cut out a white circle. Before we adhere that though, I thought I'd add a little bit of a cloud background using my cloud border die here. I'm just going to use some Distress Oxide ink. This is Broken China. And I'm just going to create a cloud background really lightly with it. Now here's where I'm going to take my white circle and I'm going to attach that to my panel. Kind of offsetting it just a bit. and then that's going to create a nice place to put my jar. Before we adhere my jar though, I want to finish off my stamping. So I'm going to take the stamp set from the Bug Jar Kit and I'll leave links below to the Love Jar and the Bug Jar guys if, in, case you're, in case you're interested. But This is an adorable little kit. It comes with some string that you can stamp and then it also comes with the die cut um, piece that you can cut out your stamped image along with here you can see the outline of that fabric topper for your jar it comes with little stitched lines on the bottom and I thought that was so cute so eventually that's how that's gonna go but we're gonna take that little red dot is actually not a Sun it's actually gonna be the little glowing part for my little lightning bug I thought that'd be a fun little accent so I'm gonna ink my lightning bug up with my VersaFine ink and stamp that on the inside of my jar. I thought about adding another one. I thought we'll just go for one for right now. I'll stamp another one on the outside. Next I'm going to stamp my sentiment. My sentiment says life is brighter because of you. Now these sentiments actually um, can fit inside the little tags that came in the love jar kit but um, I chose to stamp it on my panel here. Now there's two lightning bugs or fireflies and so I'm going to stamp another one right above my sentiment here and they are so cute. Now I did go over the wings of my um, lightning bugs. I don't know if you guys call them lightning bugs or fireflies but I did go over the wings with my Jelly Roll Starburst pen to add a little bit of shimmer. Now next I'm adding my foam here my jar foam and you'll see that little open space since I kind of offset it a little bit there's a little gap so to, just to cover it in I'm taking a piece of scratch paper and placing it on the back side and since there's adhesive on there it just stuck down beautifully and then this way I can go ahead and add the inside of my jar okay now to fill it in the bug jar kit comes with some cute little bugs and if you missed the unboxing I'll leave that at the end of the video as well but there are some yellow butterflies I added those and then I'm using the flowers the blue or the blue and the white ones from the love jar kit just added a few of them in there now there was a little too much empty space on top so I'm just taking my glue and I'm going to attach two of the flowers um, around my little firefly here. That way um, they won't sink to the bottom and it stays kind of balanced. But I'll remove the release paper and then we have 
the acetate cover that fits beautifully right over my jar. I'm going to place that right on top. There's a little bit of static, so my flowers wanted to lift up with it, but I'm just going to add that. So cute. And you can see my flowers stuck up there, which is nice. I'll use my glue, and then I'll use a little bit on the top and attach my jar topper. And I think that's a cute little topper. <laughs> and then I'll go ahead and add a piece of, I used uh, three pieces of 3M foam tape. I just tripled it up and then it's the same width as my shaker there. I'll add that to my jar. And then for a little bit of, oh, we're going to go ahead and adhere this to our card base. My card base is for um, the first five and actually these second five are all A2, which are four and a quarter by five and a half inch. They're all top folding cards. But I'll adhere that to my card base. And then for a little bit of bling, the Love Jar Kit came with some real pretty gems and they coordinate with the paper beautifully. So I'm going to add just one gem to the center of my little bow that we stamped and die cut out. And that finishes off card number six. Love those little fireflies, they're so sweet. Okay, now we're going to move along to card number seven. I'm taking a piece of white cardstock and I want to do some stamping. In the stamp set, there's two butterflies, one that's full sized and then one that's a half size butterfly. Now, I did go ahead and color in my butterflies with my Copic markers. Um, and I also, since there were coordinating dies, I die cut them out. And for card number seven, I actually only used the full size butterflies. I actually saved the half butterflies for my last card. But everything's die cut out, and then I cut out a few of the pattern papers here. We're going to start off by using the negative piece from card number one, and I'm going to attach the inside piece of my jar. I'm going to go around the edges with my anti-static powder tool because um, there was a little bit of a border and I didn't want any tackiness to show. Next, I'm going to take the string stamp that came in the stamp set, and I'm going to add that to my jar lid. Now I used the die that was in the kit also to cut out my little um, jar topper there. In the stamp set it comes with an outline of that and so I'm going to ink that up with my VersaFine ink and stamp that directly on top. You could stamp before and then die cut it out. Um, this was an afterthought so I thought well I'll do it after and it worked out just fine. But I'm going to go ahead and adhere my jar topper and then using the floral pattern paper, I'm going to, well, I cut out a circle frame that will fit on the inside of my white circle there. And I thought that's a great place to stamp my sentiment. My, stance, my sentiment for this card is going to say butterfly wishes. Stamp that towards the bottom. And then I'm kind of going to arrange my little panel. I'm going to go ahead and attach my sentiment to my jar and then I'll take that gray polka dot pattern paper. All the pattern papers that I'm using today guys are from the Love Jar Kit. Love Jar Kit comes with a 6x6 six six, um, paper pad and it is the mat stack and it's called Flirty Florals, beautiful soft colors and I'll leave links for that as well below. But I just a added my little square panel the size of that is two and a half inches by three and three quarters. And then I layered my little scene, my elements right on top. And then I'm going to, I added three of the little butterflies and a few gems for a little bit of sparkle. And then on the jar, you can see that little swirly tail or trail for the butterfly. That was in the stamp set also. In the bug jar stamp set, it, it, it comes with a four by six stamp set. So a lot of fun little elements. Okay, now we're moving along to card number eight. I'm going to take the branch. I'm going to stamp that on the inside of my jar. Now I just used my jar die and I cut it out with white, white cardstock here. Um, I'm using the single individual leaf and adding some leaves to my little branch. There were, um, 
these leaves actually have a hollow on the inside so I did end up taking my Copic marker and coloring those in just for a full shading okay there we go so that's my little jar next I'm gonna take a piece of scratch paper and in the stamp set there are some cutest little caterpillars ever now I thought about going all green for my little caterpillars but then I thought let's do something a little bit fun because this is gonna be a get well card so I wanted it to be a happy card so I colored it in with my blues the same colors I use for my butterflies the blues the pinks and the yellows um, I, I colored in three of them and then used the coordinating die to cut those out I also cut out a panel that's three inches by four and a quarter using the stripe pattern paper and I kind of placed it wonky directly on my card base now we're gonna stamp our sentiment so I got the sentiment that says heard you caught a bug I stamped that on a piece of white cardstock and then just using my tape runner I'm going to adhere one of my little caterpillars right next to my sentiment I wanted the, the antennas to kind of be above the line there so I kind of lifted it up a little bit higher I'll just fishtail the end and then using a piece of foam tape I'm going to pop that up and place that towards the bottom of my card base I think this was just the cutest. I l there were tons of, of bug sentiments in the stamp set and I had so much fun. Okay, now we are going to grab our shaker shape here. We're going to punch out the negative and we're going to use that so we're going to keep that. And we are going to add our jar. Now I wanted to kind of place it um, horizontally as if the bugs kind of came out of the jar. And just to give it a little more color, there was a scrap circle that I had used from card number one or no card number seven sorry um, I just cut it down and added that right above my sentiment now I'm going to adhere the inside of my jar and I thought about adding a butterfly on the inside on that branch and then change my mind I, th I thought I'll put it on the outside so we're just gonna fill our jar in now in the bug jar kit there comes some little toppings that are shaped like leaves and so I'm gonna add that to my little jar and I think I added every last drop <laughs> okay I'm gonna grab the acetate cover that's gonna fit that beautifully remove the release paper and then we're gonna go ahead and add our cover okay now I'm going to take the outside frame of my jar and just using my glue I'll attach that and then here's where I decided to add it on the outside of the jar and then I have one more I'm going to place on the side here so it's kind of a happy get well card or yeah get well card <laughs> now to give it a little bit of something I decided to go in over my um, caterpillars with some Nuvo Morning Dew Jewel Drops. These are like glossy accents. They'll dry, um, dry clear, but they'll give my little caterpillars a little bit of dimension. And there we go. My Get Well card. Now for card number nine, we're going to make a bumblebee card. But I'm going to start off by using some brown ink and stamping the tree branch on the very bottom. Now I'm going to flip my branch over after I ink it up again and stamp it on the other side so it's kind of connecting I wanted it to be the full length of my panel and this panel by the way is um, three and a half inches by four and three quarters sorry about my phone <laughs> okay I adding using the little leaf stamp in the stamp set I added a few leaves and now I get to stamping. I'm going to fill the entire background with this cute little bumblebee. There were actually two bumblebees and I chose the full, full one. And again, I'm going to cover that entire backing. And then I did color in my little bumblebee bodies with my yellow Copic markers. And then I also shaded in my little tree leaves. Okay, now I'm using the negative piece. I just used the, the jar die to cut out the center piece using 
um, my yellow polka dot pattern paper. Now this is new. I didn't know how this was going to happen or how this was going to do, but it turned out wonderful. So if you do get the any kind of um, shaker refills from Queen & Co, they die cut beautifully. I just added um, my top cover over the acetate. I didn't remove the release paper and I die cut it. Now the top piece doesn't cut through. I tried it several times and it still wouldn't cut through. But the it cuts all the way through the back. So all you have to do is remove that top piece and then here I am taking the negative piece from one of my previous jars and I'm going to add that to the top of it. So I'm going to place my jar on my scene and then this is the piece that we die cut out. I'm just going to add that in the center. This is a great way to make a double shaker with one of your shaker shapes. Now these are so these are the cutest little itty bitty bumblebees I've ever seen. Now I thought about pouring them in there but I did remove the release paper off the top and I was afraid that it was going to get bumblebees all over it and I didn't want to deal with the hassle of it so I just put the die cut piece the release paper that I had die cut and I put it on top and then filled it up and then removed it and then I went ahead and added a trim down piece from another negative boy this is kind of a little confusing I hope you're understanding but I um I made another card doing the same exact thing so um I just covered it with acetate added my die cut cover use a little bit of anti-static powder tool over the top to get rid of the tackiness because it does it does leave a little bit of a shadow um I stamped and then die cut out my jar top here. I just use black cardstock and white embossing powder and then I'm going to add some twine. This twine is actually from the Love Jar Kit and it's yellow. I'm going to wrap it around two times and secure it on the back just using my tape runner and then using the leftover piece from my little octagon shape I'm going to add that to the top along with a little glue and place that on my card, my panel here. I also doubled up on the baker's twine to create a bow and I was going to add the bow directly to my lid but then I thought well I'll add my tag first so we need to stamp something on there now in the sentiments in the stamp set there was one that says thanks for being a, a friend and they spelt being with b-e-e dash i-n-g and I thought that'd be perfect for this card and I did add um, the tag die was from also the Love Jar kit, but I did add a black brad. I didn't really need to do that because I ended up covering it up with the string, but that's okay. I just attacked, attached my tag. And I'm kind of adjusting it to where I think it looks the nicest. And then using one of my little gloobers, I'm going to add my little bow. Now I did also color in and die cut out three more bumblebees and I just popped them up with some foam tape and placed them around my little jar. And now I'm going to adhere my panel to my card base right in the center. I think this card turned out so cute. So fun. But that's it for card number nine. Okay, for card number ten, I already cut out all my elements. Using the stripe pattern paper, I cut out a large circle. I'm going to place that on a panel that is three and a half inches by four and three quarters. And placing the gray pattern paper on the inside of that. And then I'm for my ten cards. One oh, for all ten cards, I only used five of my shaker shapes. So I used the positive and the negative for all ten, which is great because I um, the love jar kit actually came with nine. So I still have four left over. But if you need more, Queen and Co is great. They always have um, add-on packs, and I'll leave that below for you guys as well. But I did the same thing. I temporarily adhered my pattern paper to the top of my negative shaker form here and then you can see the plastic on top doesn't die cut out but it does die cut all the way through. Now um, this is actually went through my trash <laughs> and found another one of the negative shaker tops that you peel off to create your shaker card. Now um, I'm just trimming it down 
so there's a little bit of adhesive all around my little jar. I'm going to remove the backing and you can see that that top cover didn't come uh, peel off. Now you could just flip this over and, and add your shaker bits if you wanted to but it does have little cut lines and I didn't want to take the chance of the shaker bits to fall out. So I removed the release paper off the back. I'm going to place that on my panel. A little bit wonky and then I'll remove this top release paper. And you can see there's there's um, it cut partially and I just didn't want to take the chance of the, the the shaker bits to fall out. But I die cut out the same size circle with blue cardstock and place that in the middle and then I'm using some of the toppings from the Love Jar kit. They're like little diamonds and then they're in the Bug Jar kit there came some cute little blue butterflies and the, there's a, all the toppings in the Bug Jar kit are bugs and they are well except for the leaves but they are so cute and the detail in those itty bitty little toppings are incredible but again I'm gonna go around it with my powder tool to remove the tackiness that's overhanging from my pattern paper and then I'm going to go ahead and add my butterflies now these are the butterflies left over from card number seven that I didn't use but I thought, well, I wanted it to look like they were kind of flying out of the jar. I thought that'd be really pretty. So I'm just going to add three to the top. Lovely. Okay, now we need a stamper sentiment. So I cut out a banner with one of my banner dies. Before we do that, though, you can see here I'm assembling my jar lid. Now this jar lid, um, the bug jar kit came with like a fabric lid and this jar lid is actually from the love jar. Boy, there's a lot of love bug, a lot of rhyming going on. <laughs> but this was from the love jar kit, the main kit. And I just cut it out with some silver mirror cardstock, created like a metal looking lid. And then for my sentiment, I chose have a beautiful day. I think that's a beautiful sentiment and I hope you all are having a beautiful day. I'm going to stamp that right in the center using VersaFine ink. Lovely. And then I have that leftover circle that we die cut out using the foam front. And I just added that behind my sentiment and popped it up. I'm going to add this to my top folding card base. Kind of offsetting a little bit because my banner was hanging over. It's going to go right in the center. And I did go over my butterfly wings with my Nouveau Jewel Drops. These are Morning Dew again, so it's going to dry clear, but it'll give a nice little shiny accent. Lovely. Now, I thought the jar kind of looked a little plain, and so um, in the bug jar kit, there came a die that will cut out like the ribbon. So I cut, a, cut that out with the same silver mirror cardstock and I trimmed it, I trimmed the ribbon or the bow part off. And then just using glue, I'm going to attach that to the very top of my jar. So my jar looks like it's open, been to open um, has been opened up. There we go. <laughs> but that's card number 10. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Here's a look at part one and part two. And again, if you, this is my friendship, my probably my favorite, my friendship emergency jar. But um, if you missed part one, where I made that jar, along with these first five cards, I'll leave a link at the end here for you again. Thank you so much for stopping by. I wish you a fantastic day, guys. Um, and again, links will be in the description area in case you're interested. I think this is a really fun kit that you could do so much with. Um, bug jars and, and friendship jars and little lemonade jars. I th I had a blast playing with it. But I hope you enjoy the projects that I made. Have a fantastic day. We'll see you again real soon, guys. Bye-bye.